Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Emma LaFave and I'm still sick, so that's why my voice sounds like this if you didn't catch the last video. Um, so I will be sounding like this the whole time. But today we're gonna do a very simple video on watercolor apples. We're just gonna fill this page with apples and I'm gonna be using this as my September cover page for my bullet journal. So I thought of apples because, well, back to school is in September here in Canada and I love apple picking at the end of September. So I thought it was perfect and easy and just something fun to do. So I'm gonna be wetting up my paints to start. I'm using my Winsor Newton Professional Watercolor Paints. I have this Paul Rubens 100% Cotton Watercolor Paper, and I'm using my Craftimo brush in a size 10. The light in here, the sun keeps going behind the clouds, so if it gets darker or lighter, I do apologize. I'm gonna try and fix it as I go, but we'll see. And let's just jump right in, shall we? Okay, so we're doing some loose apples. I've done apples on this channel before a few years ago, but I wanted to do it again, so. I'm gonna start off with some red apples. And again, we're making it loose. I have drawn a line here of just cut, so I can cut out the actual size of the paper so I can stick it into my bullet journal after. So if I go over the lines, that's totally fine. Um, and I'm just gonna start off with like this heart shape, almost rounded heart shape at the bottom. I'm just gonna go over that line and you can see I'm doing a pretty light wash. Okay, I'm gonna leave some white space there. Then I'm gonna go back in with a bit more vibrant red, maybe some of this alizarin red, so it's a bit darker. And I'm just gonna let it dance, <laughs> because why not? It's just so pretty when you do some wet on wet. Okay, then I'm gonna take some Maybe I'll do another red one, oh, maybe a little bit of green, and I'll just slightly touch this one. And remember, red and green make brown, so you're going to get brown if you mix them together, which is fine. I could have done a yellow apple, let's be honest. I'm going to do another one down here. Grab a little bit of yellow, throw it into this apple. Brush is kind of dirty. A little bit more green. Like that. I know it looks a little weird, but that's okay. Let's do another kind of red one over here. And we're just doing, we're just going back and forth and I'm gonna try and leave not a white space in the center for the title, I might go over it after, but I'm just working on the border, mostly. Actually, I might throw some green in this apple. You know, summer red and green. And then I'm gonna grab my red. Like that, and then I'm gonna do an apple that's sliced. So I'm gonna just go and do like the C shape here. And I'm just using that really light color from the bleed, like that. Having it bleed in there too. And then I'm going to, should I do green or red? Let's do red. I'm just gonna go around the edge like so. And then a little bit of brown in the center here. Maybe a stem. Like that. You can do a seed thereafter. Let's do a stem here. You can have it bleed while it's still wet. You can also do some greenery Okay, again, this is very loose. Just have fun with it. Okay. All right, let's do another cut apple here. So just a very light wash of red. We'll do it the other way. Light wash of red, I said, right? Light wash of red. It's almost like a shape of an ear. 
going to have it bleed into this stem or this leaf a bit. Okay, then I'm going to grab, let's grab some green for this one. Like we just cut into a green apple. Like that. I'm going to wash it off. Grab my brown again, again, a little stem there, a little bit in the center where there would be the seed. I feel like I should add a little bit of red to this one too. Why not? It's turning. Like so. This darn sun. Making the lighting difficult in here. I actually might leave that blank right there because I'm going to do the little calendar there. But let's do another apple. Mm, I feel like I'm going to do another half like cut one. I really like what the way they look like when they're cut. So it's like a C shape with a really light wash. Okay. And then just go around it with that darker color. Get your brown. The brown I'm using is sepia. that like that and let's do the side of an apple over here just so to fill that in so it doesn't look weird let's do another green ah nope red I'm gonna do a red one over here <laughs> and we're just kind of filling up the page Maybe I'll put some green on this apple as well. Green and red are definitely a hard combo to work with because when mixed together they do make brown, so just, just keep that in mind. But I feel like a little bit of brown is not a bad thing either. And I could be doing like yellow apples too, but I'm just going to stick with these, with these colors. And then I'm going to do another slice here. I feel like the bleeds are what really make it look really cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Come on, son. Where did you go? Well, let's do some leaves coming off here. You can always fill some of the area with just some greenery, right? Get a little brown. And then lastly over here, let's do like a full, maybe a full green one this way. Maybe a bit of yellow. And then maybe an open cut one of red here. stems. Oops, too much. That's okay. Like that. Like that. There we go. I feel like this one bled a bit too much, so I'm just going to wash and dry off my brush and then push that color back. I wonder if I can write, I feel like 
I have to just, sorry, my head's in the way. Has it been in the way that whole time? I'm going to write September in the little calendar here. I wonder if I should just do another open, like cut one over here. Fill it in. I'll act as though it's behind this one because it's already dried. And then some brown. And then for the ones that have already dried, you can just do like a little apple seed on the ones that are cut open. Okay? And then any other spaces that you want to fill up, you definitely can with some greenery. It's just a fun, easy going pattern. I'm getting ready for fall. Like that. Okay, so let's let that dry and then I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna cut it out and I'll just show you how I'm gonna do the lettering for September. And then, yeah, we'll be right back. Okay, so now we're getting into our writing on our cover page and I'm just doing the same thing I usually always do, writing out the days of the week with my Pigma, my Grand Pen in a size 02 and the little calendar. And then I just wrote September in cursive or calligraphy. Um, I did faux calligraphy with this and I don't know if you can tell, it's not my best work. Um, definitely feeling under the weather filming this video and I found it really hard and by the end I was just so tired and just not feeling great that I didn't do my best. The spacing is awful. I really should have spaced it out better but luckily it's just for my bullet journal and it doesn't really matter and for me the most important thing was that it was fun to paint the apples and I still like the way it looked. It doesn't have to be perfect every time. But there you go, there is your cover for your bullet journal or if you just wanna make a fun watercolor apple pattern. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for even more. Have a great day guys, bye.